Over the decades, the census has tracked the ageing of the British. Back in 1911, the average woman died at just 54, and the average man at 50. A solemn thought for those of us aged 51. These days, for a man it's 77.7 .7 years, and for a woman, 81.9 years. But those, of course, are just averages. No one's ever spoken to a statistic. And behind the numbers, there's a whole argument about lifestyle and about politics, too. So where is the place in Britain where the gulf in life expectancy is at its starkest? Glasgow. To find out why, Danny Dawling travelled the streets of the city, starting in the affluent West End, where he met public health expert Richard Mitchell. What is the kind of life expectancy of people living right where we are now, and what is it like just around here? OK, right here, yeah. for a man, it's 79 years at birth. Just down the street there, yeah. you rise to 80 years. Uh -huh. If you were to go that way, maybe about half a mile, um, you'd drop about five years. Yeah. About another half a mile on, uh, you drop 15 years. So there's a big difference wow. just in that direction. Uh -huh. uh, and actually, if you carried on in that direction, you go through some of the, the kind of poorer parts of the city where things get, get really bad. It's stunning, isn't it? Extraordinary. And that's, that's the power of neighbourhood, uh, yeah. because neighbourhood is the place in which you know, your social life and your, and your economic life come together to determine things. In order to understand how you can drop 15 years of your life just by crossing a few streets, imagine a little life expectancy calculator. Let's start by giving Danny the national average number of years of life, and then we start to see how many things have an impact on how long you live. Take the job you do. If the census calls it professional work, add three years. If it's unskilled manual labour, take off four years. In unskilled, jobs. I mean, by the very name, you get low respect, you don't feel so good about yourself, and you're often being asked to do quite arduous work, and it wears you down. So, over the years, the differences between what you're asked to do and what people think about you, and what you think people think about you, has this effect, which creates a seven-year gap in life expectancy for men by social class. Now you've gone and left me, and there's nothing here, but a tenor in my pocket and a fridge full of beer. Add a year if you drink in moderation. If you're a heavy drinker, more than 14 units a week for a woman or 20 units for a man, you can take away as much as three years from your life expectancy. But abstainers also have to take away a year from their life expectancy, and that's because they include people like ex-alcoholics who no longer drink, but have already done the damage to their livers. If you've never smoked, add three years. If you're a smoker, take off four years. If you're a smoker and you give up, you gain four years. But if you never smoked in the first place, compared to a smoker, you've got seven years gain. If you eat fruit and veg once a day, add a year. Uh, and a Glasgow salad doesn't count. I'm broke and I'm hungry. Wrong it and I'm dirty too. Yes, I'm broke and I'm hungry. Wrong it and I'm dirty too. What's your top five sellers here? What really sells? Chips, chips, fish, sell lot of sausages, yeah. black puddings. But do people get like black pudding and chips? Yes. Sounds great to me. I don't know. It's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you'd be surprised. Uh, Why do you keep on teasing me? You know that I want you. Why do you keep on? Even your height seems to be connected to your life expectancy. Men over five foot ten inches add a year. Under five foot eight inches, a year off. Children who tend to not do quite so well in childhood, not fed so well, cared for so well in some ways, are likely to be a bit shorter. So it's a marker for how well you're brought up in childhood. The numbers begin to drop dramatically if you find yourself homeless and on the streets. Subtract 12 years if you're living in a shelter, 25 years if you're living rough. This is the Carlton area of Glasgow which has one of the lowest life expectancies in Britain, around 54 years for men, one of the lowest in Western Europe. Uh, the census lets us work that out, but it also gives us a clue as to why it is. The census shows us that when people do better in life, they tend to leave an area like this, and when they fall on hard times, this is the kind of place they tend to move into. 
It's the accumulated impact of all these numbers that begins to explain why the Reverend Malcolm Cuthbertson of the impoverished Easter House estate frequently oversees funerals for residents barely into middle age. Most people in the community will know of people who have died at an earlier age. There's no question about that. Uh, even family members, they could rhyme off a, a, a list of uh, people that they know who have, you know, in their 40s and 50s um, died often suddenly or, or even after uh, long-term uh, cancer. So it's not, no, it's not unusual within our community for that to be uh, part of the uh, people's thinking. I couldn't even remember having a 92-year-old here in, in Easter. I'd probably have to go back five years to one of my church elders, uh, Eddie, who was 94. Um, but that, that would be by far the exception in, in a community like this. Now they've gone and left us and we are not here. Just the ghosts of the people they once held dear. It isn't complicated, a roof over your head, a healthy lifestyle, a good job, but it's dramatic, which is why the census and the headstones in the wealthy suburb of Bears Den show lives lasting as much as 40 years longer than those of people just seven miles away. The only other place in the world I've been to and found figures that can compare with inequalities in health in Britain, where people live to such a long age in affluent parts, and to such a short age in poor parts is in the United States of America. But you have to do comparisons between Indian reserves in North Dakota um, and you know, people living in some of the mansions around Florida to get the same kind of gaps that we get in this country. There's nowhere else in Western Europe. Uh, Japan has remarkably low inequalities in health. Uh, Korea's not bad. Amongst rich countries in the world, it really is only the United States where you can see the kind of gaps that we take for granted in this country. And I think that is shocking. It's a sobering thought that there are places in this country where the age of death has not improved, just the same as it was a hundred years ago. But the biggest change is at the other end of the spectrum. The Queen is in danger of getting writer's cramp because this census is going to focus on the fastest growing age group of all centenarians. <laughs> 